And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and the Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. And the category for today is the sun. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about the sun. But, and this is a big but, only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? <laughs> and in each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you win a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Woohoo! Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, let's go. Round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, if you were to travel to the sun, it would take you 300,000 years? Or is it B, the sun is so far away from Neptune that even though Neptune was discovered in 1846, it only made its first rotation around the sun since that discovery in 2011. Or is it C, the sun is the biggest star in the universe? When you think you have the answer, curl up like an armadillo. Psst, Reggie, cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Aria from Pennsylvania. Aria, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, my wow in the world is that Neptune was discovered in 1846 and didn't complete its orbit around the star till 2011. Winner, winner, Neptune for dinner! Thank you, Aria. Contestants, if you guess the answer B, that Neptune was discovered in 1846 and it only made its first rotation around the sun since the discovery in 2011, well, you found the winning wow. Congratulations, wowzers. Talk about a long trip. It takes 165 Earth years for Neptune to make a trip around the sun. And considering the fact that Neptune is 2.7 billion miles away from the sun, that doesn't sound too bad. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and do your best Dennis impersonation. No one can impersonate me. I'm one in a million. <sighs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good, Reggie. I do say that a lot. I love your confidence, Dennis. Okay, time for round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the sun's average temperature is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit? Or is it B, most sunscreens contain trace amounts of chocolate? Or is it C, to help prevent sunburns, giraffes have black and purple tongues? When you think you have the correct answer, give your brain a freeze. How do you do that? Oh, you just eat a pint of ice cream in 30 seconds. What? Or so I hear. I definitely have never tried that. And if I had, I would have only taken me 23 seconds. <laughs> hey, Reg, cue the thinking music. And now 
it's time to reveal the winning wow. And joining us from Illinois, it's Elmer. Elmer, tell us, what's the wow? Hi, my name is Guy Ross. My wow in the world is that giraffe tongue is shades of purple, blue, and black, which prevents it from getting sunburned. Winner, winner, sunburns for dinner! Thank you, Elmer. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that to help prevent sunburns, giraffes have black and purple tongues, you found the winning wow. Congratulations! It turns out that giraffe tongues have a high density of dark melanin color pigment, which helps prevent sunburns. Scientists' leading theory as to why this helps prevent sunburns is that melanin has extra UV ray protection. Wait, 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 hold on. Did you say extra UV ray protection? Uh Uh-huh. So does it, like, keep the discs from getting all scratched up or what? What? Uh, Dennis, I I believe you're talking about a Blu-ray player. Oh. UV rays are the light waves produced by the sun. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Continue. (laughs) Dennis! Okay, where were we? Ah, yes. Melanin has extra UV ray protection. Right. And if you did not get this answer correct, you must stop, drop, and sing the song Pocket Man. Pocket Man? I don't think I've heard that one. Oh, yeah, you have, Guy Raz. It's the one that goes, I'm a pocket man, holding all my stuff out here alone. Oh, boy. And now for the final round, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, when you look at the sun, you see the future? Or is it B, solar-powered panels do not work when it's raining? Or is it C, the sun is so big, a million Earths could fit in it? When you think you have the correct answer, blink as fast as you can. (laughs) Reggie, cue the thinking music. Time is up! Let's now reveal the winning wow. Please welcome by phone, Caroline from Mississippi. Caroline, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, Mindy and Guy Ross. My wow is that a million Earths could fit in the sun. Winner, winner, a million Earths for dinner. Thank you, Caroline. Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, that the sun is so big, a million Earths can fit into the sun, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right, Guy Raz. Imagine the sun is like one giant gumball machine. You could fit nearly 1.3 million Earth gumballs inside to fill up the sun-sized gumball machine. That's a lot of gumballs, Mindy. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and pat your tummy and rub your head. Uh... Oh, wait. Or is it rub your tummy and pat your head? Uh, Yeah, you know what to do. (laughs) What was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. There's a duck in the studio? Not this one. It means that it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, is the moving image file pronounced GIF or GIF? Uh, I say GIF. Nope, it's GIF. Definitely GIF. <laughs> Reggie, it does not sound like I'm talking about peanut butter. <laughs> well, congratulations to all of our winning contestants on today's show. Uh, Mindy, what's the prize? Guy Raz, today's winning wowzers will all be receiving their very own eye windows. What are eye windows? Oh, you should know that, Guy Raz. You wear them every day. <laughs> are you talking about glasses? No, I'm talking about eye windows. They just look like glasses. <laughs> Reggie, cue the prize cannon. No! Hooray! Eye windows for everyone! <sighs> well, uh, 
uh, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Operation Dark Shadows. Before there were clocks, people used shadows to tell what time of the day it was. We challenge you to cast your own shadow today. Find a place outside that gets lots of sunlight and visit it four to six times during the day. Keep track of where your shadow lands during your outdoor visits. Is it to your right, your left, behind you? Does your shadow move during the day depending on the direction of the sun? Record your findings. If you want to go above and beyond, you can ask your grown-up to trace your shadow with chalk, but only if you're on some type of sidewalk. And don't forget to take a photo or a video of your shadows. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep on wow.